everybody it's Sam here and I'm super excited to be sharing my very first Christmas collection so this is perfect pop-ups so you have a five by seven and a six by six and they will create these really fun interactive cards along with the dies you also get some really fun stamps we've got elves and snowmen and we have father Christmas and a wonderful reindeer along with the other ones that I launched three weeks ago they will also work with this die set you also get outline dies and stencils so there's a lot in this one so I'm going to flip the camera around and show you a ton of samples and hopefully it'll give you lots of inspiration and I can explain everything to you. Okay, so I've got all of the product here, first of all, that I'll show you. So some of you will already be familiar with these four stamp sets here. So these ones were launched possibly two, three weeks ago now. So these came in earlier, so we decided to share them before. And these ones will work across all of the different other dies that I've brought out. And you'll see that in the samples that I'll be showing you in a moment. But you've got your Christmas critters, you've got your animal antics, and then you have your Christmas photo booth props, and then you have your normal photo booth, so all year round kind of thing. But there's some on here that you can mix up. I mean, the present you could use whenever you wanted to. That doesn't have to be far. The Christmas or Santa's beard that could be you know anybody's beard <laughs> and then you've got like the bow tie and the ties and stuff like that that you could use as well but they're really fun again you'll see them on the sample so that's those four so all of that is available and I'll share all the links below and then the new product that we have just launched are these three stamp sets here so these can be used on their own they can be used across the other styles. These actually work really well with the wiper dies that I have because of their expressions and just the sizes of them. But I'll also show you how you can use some of these on the new concept as well. And then you have this one, which is a scene builder. So you have all these other elements. Again, you can buy that on its own and you could easily create really nice effects using these pieces as well. So if you are someone that's just a stamper, these are some fantastic stamps. We're so pleased with them and the sizes and everything. The puns, the sentiments, they're just really, really nice. So that's those three, Snowman and Elf, Santa and Rudolph and the Scene Builders and they're all A5 stamp sets. We then have the dies that will also work with these. So you have your props, with the Christmas and the party. Okay, so they will cut some of your props out. You then also have the two there, which are for the animal antics and the Christmas critters. So they will cut all the animals out and then a few extras as well. And then you have your outline dies for the snowman and the elf and the Santa and Rudolph. Then also brought out a paper pad. I adore this paper pad. I have used so much. Obviously, I know I had a lot of samples to make, but it's just such an easy paper pad. So again, if you're someone that just loves the papers, definitely I would recommend getting this one. You have your two kind of candy cane, the stripes here. You've got the red with the thin green, and then you've got the red and the green. You've then got a chimney rooftop scene, beautiful white and gray snow scene. Then you've got your snowy background there and then you've got this other really lovely scene with the snow there. So I'll just show you one of each. So there is this one. I've been using this feature a lot. You'll see that again in some of the samples. You get four of each design and they're 180 GSM and these cut brilliantly with the newest die, which is just here, which I'll be showing. Because usually you would, you, I would always recommend a heavyweight cardstock with the dies, especially when they're a construction, like a kinetic style, but this one works really well with paper. So this is perfect for your mats and layers, but look at that one, isn't it stunning? And I've done a really nice one with the penguin and um, kind of ice skating with this background. And then there's that one there. It's almost got a little bit of the kind of the northern lights going on there. It's really, really nice. There is your red one, love that one. It's great for presents as well. Again, you'll see all of that coming. And then there's the thick stripes and then the slightly thinner green stripe one there as well. Again, perfect for the presents, which you will be seeing in a moment. I've then also brought out two stencils. Now on the website, these will be in this green color here, which is my turquoise green, because you couldn't see it. You can just see it, just about make them out here. But you basically have this scallop detail one here, which will create a roof. You could also use it if you like to do your underwater theme. So it could be some fish scales or a mermaid's tail. And then you have the brickwork here, which you'll see me use on the chimney. Looks really, really good. So it's a great one. So if you're someone that's into your mixed media, like doing your layouts, it's a really nice one. And then this one here, we have this floral detail, which is kind of like a wallpaper. That's where we're kind of going with this one to do a background behind the Christmas pudding or something. However, you can also stamp this. It looks really nice, stenciled, sorry, onto the base of the cupcake. 
So you'll see that in future tutorials. And then here you have your sprinkles, your dots, and then you've got these squiggly lines as well and the sprinkles I have used on the cupcake. So it's another really nice handy one. And then onto the newest dies here. So this makes a pop-up card. So you can have a pop-up pudding or cupcake, or you can have a pop-up present or chimney. With this one here, it's five by seven, and this one is six by six. This one here, you have Santa's boots, which will also die cut the stamped image of the boots as well. You've got your snow here, which will also die cut the snow stamp, along with the lights and along with this bow. But the bow, the, well, maybe the snow, because you could die cut all of the balls individually and they will fit inside there. So I would say these ones will all work on their own, but they will obviously complement the stamps that we've done. And then these, like I said, are the lights that will cut out the stamped image. But this is your mechanism pieces, and then these will create either your chimney or your gift, your present. This one will cut out your snow and you can just stick that onto the front, which I've shown you, but there's also a stamp. So if you want to create that on its own, you can do. Then onto this one, the six by six. So again, you have your mechanism here and then you have the base here and then you can add either the pudding or the cupcake topping onto that base. But the base works really nice on its own as well and you can have it in different colors. So it looks like sand or it looks like a snow mound. It could look like a mountain, a hill, all kinds of things. So again, I'm looking forward to seeing what people create using that and uh, other people's ideas. And then you get two snowflakes here. These are your icicles. And then this one here is just another kind of, it could be snow, it could be some topping. It looks nice with the cherry on top. It's entirely up to you how you want to use it. But those are the newest dies. So like I said, all of this product will be linked below. There's more there as well. And a lot of my other stuff you can mix and match with this as well. So onto the samples. So first of all, I'll start off with the six by six pudding because this is the newest. And then I'm going to show you how it also works on some of my older die sets as well. So here you have your six by six card. You pull your pull tab and up pops the elf. And I've put some glossy accents on his eyes there. He looks very, very sweet. And then you've got your holly leaf there. I've stamped the Merry Christmas pudding sentiment. And I just think it's turned out lovely. You can see the background papers there that I've used. And then that just slides back down. And then inside, it's a top folding card. You have all your space to write your message. So they're all like that in terms of the inside. Here's another one here. But this time you have the snowman popping out. I love you so much. This is probably one of my favourites because I love the sentiment and I just love the way he pops up like that with his arms open. Then this one I've used the striped papers and we have the elf popping out. So some of these now you'll start to see a few doubles maybe just with different coloured papers because i done the samples. Well, actually these are some of the demos that i done when I was on Hachanda launching this collection. So here is using the Animal Antics stamp. So I've used Marty the meerkat here and all I've done is I've just cut out the base one there which gives you this shape and I just thought it looked good as a sand kind of mound or a mound or a sand dune and then you pull this one and up pups <laughs> the other meerkat there with a bow tie on which is one of the props these are the props these are the props here and then the Merry Christmas is one of the sentiments and the papers here are from one of my older paper pads and that's your scenes one really nice background papers and here you'll see I've done it in acetate so you don't have to do it in just cardstock you can do it in acetate as well but one also just make sure you use like a heavyweight acetate like a construction weight I'll be talking about it in future tutorials but that way it will hold and it, you'll be able to push it up and down really easily but he just pops in like so this one here is just using it on its own to make this snowy kind of looking snow mound and then I've used the snowflakes there some of the icicles just to give you an idea and again you pull it up and out pops the snowman really really sweet and again I've used glossy accents I've coloured them all in using my uh, coloured pencils this one here is the cupcake so I put some sprinkles on top using some Nouveau drops and a nice shiny cherry on top there. And again, using the papers from one of my older paper pads and then up pops the meerkat. Certain animals will work with it, other ones won't. They really do mix across, so you'll have to play around with them. And then again here, another pudding one. And this has the snowman, but with a different striped background again. Here is the one, I love this one, with that beautiful background paper. And then that lovely shiny snow. <laughs> And everything's heat embossed on this one and I've kept all the tones really really soft so you've got all the greys and the blacks here and then again up pops Penelope the penguin. This one uses that blue night sky in the background and again you have your 
snowman popping up there. I had to do nine demos across the day, so I have a lot of cards. Another cupcake, love this one. And you'll see here I've actually shaped the bottom of it. And again, I've used some glitter on the embossed sections here, and then that lovely cherry. And then you pull this one and you've got Heidi the Hippo that pops out. <laughs> pops up with her unicorn crown, as you do. I mean, what else would you expect to pop out of a cupcake? So again, the papers are from my scenes party pad, that one. And then we've got two more here. So this is another striped one with the elf, which was another demo. And then this one here, I've shaped the bottom, but I've also just cut off the top there. So it's more like a muffin. <laughs> so again, I'm just trying to show you different ways to evolve it and just change it up each time. You've got the cherry there, and then you've got Bo Bear that pops out the top of this one. <laughs> really love it, his smile. And I've just used some of the holly there in the corner as well. So that is the new six by six pop-up die set. And then I'm gonna show you the five by seven. Okay, so this is the five by seven. So this is how it looks. So here's your chimney and I've got some of the snow on the top. These are using some of the scene builder. So you've got the Santa's sack, you've got Rudolph's treats, which I love, and this stack of presents. I've used the sentiment Santa's here those papers with that lovely scene there. And then when you pull this one up, Santa pops up to say hello. I think it's adorable. I've stamped the brickwork here, but you've also got a stencil that can do that for you as well. But I think that one's turned out really well. And again, pops down and then you can open this one up. These have traveled a long way. So I had to kind of, some of the corners were a little bit um, dogged, but I think we're okay now. But inside there, you've got all that space. Here's another one. So this one says Santa's here and I've put Rudolph at the bottom. And then again, a few of the little bits there. These, these stars also come in the die set. And then you pull this one and you've got Santa's feet. <laughs> this is one of my favorites. There's just something about it I really adore. And I've got a couple of really nice, fun other ways of using the feet on other kind of shaped cards. So those will be being shared very soon on my channel. And again, just slides down inside the chimney there. This one is kind of the chimney and the present. I've put the bow on the top here and you'll see that's that snow die there, which looks really nice. And then you've got a little holly there and then Santa Claus is coming to town. And then you pull the top and up pops the elf. So the elf and the snowman were made more for like the wiper and the, the pudding, because it's obviously much wider, but you can just get away with it in this one. And again, I'll show you in future tutorials, if you go very, very thin with your tape either side, you'll fit your elf in there. And I think he looks really, really good. Another one, because again, I had to do so many demos, but you'll see I've used lots of glossy accents and coloured the sleigh there. So again, this is all from that scene builder stamp set. And then you pull the top here and up pops Santa. This one, I put the sentiment up here rather than down there. But just be careful, that's on foam. He doesn't catch when he comes up, but do obviously take that into account. And then here's how to turn it into the present. I love this, using those striped papers. I've used some lovely red glitter card there, that big bow. And then these presents are from the props, the Christmas prop set. And then this one says, I hope your Christmas is super chilled. You pull the top here and up pops the snowman. And of course, when the cards open, that's how it's obviously displayed. And then it fills that area, but you could have it down like that if you wanted to, and you might want to put your sentiment at the top. So again, lots of ways to use it. So there's some more stars there. You can see I've used the snowballs there and they've been die cut. Other bits and pieces, there's Rudolph again, and then up pops Father Christmas. And then another present one here, I've just cut a few stripes here. It was actually the, it's that, cut in half. And then I just put it across like so. I've used some props here, the selfie uh, sign, the holly. This one says, Berry Merry Christmas, so you know who's gonna pop out of this one. And there's Bo Bear. But rather than a polar bear, he's a brown bear. And he's got the little elf hat on there as well. And then the last one in the five by seven is this one here and up pops Santa's feet again. So it's just another way to show you how that one works. Very, very fun. So that is the five by seven and the six by six. And so now I'm gonna show you some more samples to use all of this really and those animal antics and Christmas critters all mixed across other styles. So we'll show you these ones here. So this is just more of just a, a non-kinetic style card. So just more of a standard card with a little bit more to it. So some of you would have already seen these. So this is Let's Party, which is one of my stamps. And then I've used these balloons and then the meerkats with their party hats on to give you that slimline DL size. This one here is Bo Bear having a selfie. It's just on a six by six card blank. I've done a bit of an embossed background there and then lots of props, lots of texture. This is using the fluffy stuff from Cosmic Shimmer. Glossy accents on his nose, really, really fun. Here I've used four of the new critters. So you've got Bo Bear, 
Heidi the hippo, Marty the meerkat and Penelope the penguin. And you can see all of that working together, it looks so much fun. And then this was a newer one which I shared the other day on my channel and this is a Joyfold card and I focused using the actual, this is the Polaroid die from my 6x6 square slider die set and then I've used all of the props there and then Heidi and you just open this one up and you have this card and it says Hippo Birthday to you. Again, everything I'm using I will link below because that's those there. Then let me show you some slider cards. So these slider cards here are used in the new papers and then there is Penelope the Penguin. And then this one here, again, some of these have got a little bit squashed in transit, but they just about still work. Hope your Christmas is super chilled. How lovely is that? So that's how that stays displayed. And then inside you've got all your space to write your message. So all of the mechanics are always hidden. You don't ever see any of it, which is really nice. So that's the five by seven, zigzag slider die set. Again this is the zigzag here and I've got the lovely reindeer, the naughty but nice little props there along with these bits and pieces and then the papers again focusing on that lovely image there and then you just pull it and you've got Santa Claus is coming to town. Then another zigzag here using the snowman, more of those props and the holly leaf there and again you just pull the top and it says I love you so much. So there might be some of you that just love the stamps and you already have this slider dies from previous launches. You can see how you can use this on those dies and it looks really nice. Then this is the six by six circle. So I've got Santa here and I tried to kind of do the chimney look but doing it all within that circle. So you can see how I've cut the bottom of it there. We've got some stars here, more of the fluffy stuff, props there with the ho ho ho, snowballs, all kinds of bits and pieces and then this one you pull it and it says Santa Claus is coming to town and these are just stuck using foam so that this mechanism can slide underneath so it doesn't obstruct it at all there. Um, we'll leave that one up and then this was one that I done on the launch on Hachanda loved the green mirrored card in this one it says in eat drink and be merry so there's that Polaroid there so you, again you can see how I've just taken that die from this one from the set and used it onto that one there. And again, pull the top, Santa Claus is coming to town. Very, very fun. Then we have Bo Bear on the circle. So these are the square, that was a square, sorry, that's a circle, this is a circle. Very Merry Christmas. And then we have another circle, Hey Rudolph, using glitter card. And you can see there, Santa Claus is coming to town. And then the snowman. I love you so much. I'm trying to see if I've done any doubles. I don't think I have. Then you would have recognized this one. So this was the one that I done when we launched this, like I said, a few weeks ago. And it's Heidi with all of her props. I went very over the top with that one, but I think it shows the card and all of those stamps off really well. And then only two more left, we have the elf. Uh, love this one, again using that Polaroid. Santa Claus is coming to town. And then we have this one here, which again would have shown in older videos, but it's Rudolph. Have yourself a very Merry Christmas. That sentiment was actually from Card Making Magic, but uh, you can use obviously whatever you want. So that is the slider. I think they work fantastically with the sliders and they're such beautiful styles to make anyway. So yeah, thoroughly enjoyed doing these. So I'm just gonna pop all these back down again. Okay, then onto the wiper cards. So this is the six by six wiper die set that I have. So I've just created this little scene here with the rooftop. You can see Santa's footprints there. I added the bow there and then you pull the sides and up pops Father Christmas. Really easy to do, got a lovely movement to them. I love the wiper cards and then on the back, I just add a white mat there and then I've got room to stamp and write my message. This one here, it's Father Christmas and Rudolph and then you pull the sides and up pops the elf. Again, really nice movement to them. And this I just tore some paper and then I stamped my message there. Hope your Christmas is super chilled and I just pop some glue and glitter on the front. And again, you can see there with the white on the back. This was one that I'd done earlier on using the Eve the Elephant and this is the die set that comes with this 6x6 wiper die and then when you pull it another little elephant pops out the top. And then this was one that I made very quickly during a TV demo, had a few minutes to do it 
so it's not as detailed but again it just shows you Father Christmas down the bottom here and then Rudolph pops out the top. Rudolph works really well on the wiper, cut, wiper cards. I think he looks so cool there. Again you can see how that works. That's the six by six and then I've got a mix here of the five by seven and the five by seven Z fold so let's just sort those out. Okay, so the 5x7, this one, if you watched me on Hachanda, this was, I think, the last demo i done. I had three minutes to do it, and this is what i done. So I created the snow scene background there, then you've got the presents, you've got Penelope, the penguin, with her friend, and then the bow, the sentiment, and then the, the actual speech bubble pops at the top here, let's p -p -p party so it came together really well I did have it obviously cut but still having to do that in a matter of minutes was uh, yeah intense and then I've got this one here so there's Father Christmas popping up from the snow saying Santa's here and then Rudolph pops out the top and you can see how these papers just work perfectly this one was one that I made during my last craft stash Facebook launch and it is the three critters here and then Bo Bear pops out the top love that one as well. This one here is again one of my favourites, the meerkat. The wiper works really well with the meerkats. You've got them all there and then he pops up thinking he's missing out and actually that's got a bit bent in travel there but now you can see it works really really well. Then we've got Penelope again here and this is using the stamps and the lights and everything that come in the collection and again let's put up a party. And then this was one that I done during a Facebook Live of my own, and this was a shaker wiper card. So you'll see in here, you see all the snow that moves around inside. And I've done some heat embossing on acetate there, but you've got a um, mirror stamping as well. So they're actually facing each other. So that's the original, and then a mirror stamped image of this one. And then Bo Bear's Gate Crashing, their lovely ice skating date. <laughs> and I also have it in this one but it got a bit trashed and I think it just got packed in a bit of a, an odd way. It goes down, but it kind of, well maybe it is, no see, then it just stops. It's gone very, I think it might have even got a bit wet. So I think this is gonna become one that I keep on display. <laughs> I don't think I'll be sending this one out because it just doesn't, yeah, it just kind of stops. But again, just to give you inspiration on how you know, the different colourways work with that style there as well. It looks really, really nice. And then the 5 by 7 Z fold. So here we've got all of the reindeer and then up pops Rudolph with his red nose. You can see I've used the presents there and the naughty but nice. And I've stamped the lights all along the top and put some glossy accents over the tops of them there so they look like they're shiny. And then this one I done during a Facebook Live. So you've got all of the meerkats there. Birthday party. And then up pops the other one there, which I think looks really good. Birthday wishes. And then this one here is another one that I done during Facebook Live. You've got Eve there, party. And then up pops Bo Bear. And then it's that's the, again the die that comes with that set. Yay, it's your day. And then I've got these two here, which I've recently made, which just show you another way to use the dies without using the mechanism. So I've actually created a card base using the base of the pudding or the cupcake. And you can open it up, you can see there how that looks. Really simple but very effective and I, I just think they've, they're have they very, very sweet. And then this one here is the cupcake, so I've used that glitter cardstock for the cherry. Here you can see I've used the stencil to create the sprinkles and then I've used some Nouveau, white Nouveau there and some glue and glitter just to create that kind of sparkly icing. And then I've used the sentiment there, happy birthday cupcake, which I've heat embossed. I've also used my embossing folder, the zigzag embossing folder on the base there as well, which I thought worked really well with the cupcake. But it was just another nice idea, and you can see how it looks there, on how to use those dies, you know, to make other things. It doesn't have to always be, you know, a card that moves with, you know, a mechanism in it. It can just be something like this. I love these. I'll definitely be making a few more of these. And these would be nice. You could put maybe five of them in a box or something and maybe even sell them. So it's another good idea. But uh, yeah, so that's those there. So I think that's all of the samples. So that is my very first Christmas collection and it has been so much fun. It's been a joy to put together and seeing it all here now, it just makes all the hard work worthwhile. So 
yeah thank you to everybody that's already purchased I hope you enjoy using it all I can't wait to see what you make with it and as always all the links to this product will be shared below look out for any offers that will be around because we sometimes have deals that will last just a certain amount of time so when we obviously do the big launch on craft stash then you know that is a good time to purchase because we try and give you the best offers that we can so head over there because the launch will be going on and I'll be back very soon with lots of tutorials now I have all this stuff so thanks for watching Bye.